Okay. So, didn't have the. This is what we were targeting. <laughs> Look how pretty that one is, too. Pretty like, much. the color on it. But now the slime. That's my personal best right there. Really? Yeah. Alright. We need the hook remover and the tape measure. 20, 27 pounds. Oh, yeah. That's, that, that's like the catfish. That's a 27 inch right there. They're gonna bite you, bro. Oh, dude, you run, you run, get it! Got him, dude. It's a go oh, the GoPro on. dude, it's on. Okay, all right. Oh, is it an eel? Is no, it fighting? No. Nah. Oh yeah, it is. Are you no kidding me? What? <laughs> yeah, look at it. It's huge too. Oh my god. God. Give me. Okay. Go. One, two. Can you take a picture? Oh! 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 oh. oh. 26. 26 inches. 26 inches. Yeah, it was a I shouldn't have grabbed the line. All my fault. That was all my fault. It was frayed line. I forgot. I forgot the line was frayed. Look at that eel. Is it going to go on a rock now? I want to check the smell. To make sure it's okay? Oh, it's bleeding a lot. It'll be fine. They're really tough. Yeah, they're tough. Wow, what a beautiful What a beautiful thing. Look at him, it's like a, everyone hates it. Ooh. Another big boy. This one's an eel. Ugh. We got an eel on here. Feels like a small eel. Yeah, it's a small eel. What is an eel? Definitely an eel. He's decent. Yeah, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to bring this up. It's actually really freaking big. Oh, never mind. Oh boy. All right, let's. See if we can figure this thing out. This eel had a freaking rig on it. What the hell? What the heck? There he goes. I've got a really simple rig for these eels that I'm fishing for. I think this is about a one on hook. It's a lot bigger than anyone would think because they have small mouths, but they swallow the hook a lot. So you're going to need something like this. Then all it is is just a slip shot to get it past the, the sunfish that are like all up in here. This is all sunfish and they're in freaking insane. So something like this. It's pretty much all you're all you're gonna need. This creek you see right here is actually a tributary of the river I was fishing at in the first couple of clips. So you didn't even catch anything in here? Yeah. Really, really? I just caught an eel. An eel? Yeah. Oh, I got something. What the heck? Oh, that is an eel. You tried to wrap me around the... Oh boy. Well, um... I'm going to give you a full explanation. Say you want to catch eels and have no idea where to start. I'll help you with some things you want to look for. Eels can live anywhere, but medium-sized rivers are the prime locations for catching multiple eels in one outing. Walk around and try to find the deepest parts of the river, preferably more than 5 foot deep, with plenty of rocks where they can hide. A river with fast-moving water that has a large eddy or pool below is the best location to start. If the river doesn't have a lot of rocks, try underneath bridges or pilings. If the river connects to the ocean in some way, it's bound to have eels in it all year round. Once you have located your eel population, you are going to need the right tackle. Make sure you have at least 8 pound test because even a 3 pound eel can whack the line with its tail or break you off on a rock. Monofilament and fluorocarbon are preferred. The size of your weight depends on how fast the water is moving, and the hook size depends on the eel size. 
The best pay for eels is worms by a long shot, but if you're hunting for that trophy, cut bluegill or live shiners is a great way for a giant. I hope this helped you out in catching this extremely underrated game fish. Like, comment, and subscribe, and see you in the next video.